Hello and welcome to another episode of the Heavy Metal Gamer Show, and this time I want to review Final Fight 2. If you remember earlier on this account, I did a review of the first game of the Final Fight franchise. Final Fight 2 was developed and published by Capcom. It was released in 1993 and was only released on the Super Nintendo. It didn't have an arcade release like the original Final Fight. So the story behind Final Fight 2 goes a little something like this. Mike Hagar, along with Cody and Guy, defeated the Mad Gear Gang and restored peace in Metro City in the first Final Fight. While the three continued to live their normal lives, Cody is on vacation with his girlfriend Jessica, probably having a good time. Guy is off training and probably banging hookers and doing what he does best. Well, Mike Hagar continues to run Metro City as mayor, not getting any time off because being a mayor is serious damn business. All of a sudden, the surviving Mad Gear members have secretly regrouped and are plotting revenge under their new leader. So what do these jackasses do? They kidnap Guy's fiance, Rena, along with her father. As Guy is off doing something else, probably banging on some whore somewhere, I already made that joke, Rena's younger sister, Mackie, I know I probably butcher that name, I apologize, sometimes I butcher names, calls Mike Hagar and, and informs him of the situation. Hagar and Carlos Miyamoto travel to Eurasia to meet up with Mackey, and the three of them join forces to kick the shit out of the newly revived Mad Gear group, which is probably a knockoff of Metal Gear. Where's Snake at? He could sit around and be like, Metal Gear. In Final Fight, you will go through several countries to trail leads to Japan where you will fight Retu, the new leader of Mad Gear. Sounds fun, right? I mean, hell, it sounds like it would fit perfectly for a movie. Kind of like the Metal Gear series. That's kind of like a movie. Metal Gear. Oh, damn it. Wrong game. Mad Gear. Metal Gear. Same thing, right? There are six levels and two bonus levels in Final Fight, and you will start the game off in Hong Kong, and then you will go through countries such as France, Holland, England, Italy, and of course Japan. <laughs> France. I see London, I see France, I see Lindsay Lohan's underpants. Wait, no I don't. She probably doesn't wear any easy axes, I guess, when she's all drunk at the bar. You get it? Let's try this again. I see London, I see France, I see Snookies. Never mind, let's focus on the review. Now, Mike Hagar is the only returning character from the first game. The other two characters you can play as are Mackie and, of course, Carlos. Each character has their own fighting techniques that will help you kick the hell out of your enemies. And on top of that, you can play this game in two-player co-op. So if you have some friends over, you and your friend can have a kick-ass time. Of course, the gameplay of Final Fight 2 stays pretty close to the original. Same style of gameplay as this is a beat-em-up with hordes of enemies to destroy and of course a boss battle at the end of each stage. There are power-ups throughout the game which will help you out a lot, mainly for health and bonus points. You can also pick up weapons that will help you out as well. The graphics for Final Fight are pretty damn good. The game looks great, the character sprites, the backgrounds, and the level designs are very well done. This is around the time when Capcom actually cared about the development of their games and how good they looked. Not only that, there is no glitching. The development team actually took their time on this game, which is really nice to see. Now in the first level, doesn't that female in the background stuffing her face full of food look awfully familiar? like maybe Chun-Li from the Street Fighter franchise? Well, that is her, and I'm guessing we just found out her secret for that big fat ass of hers. <laughs> it almost looks like a holiday ham walking down the road. I mean, that is a lot of ass. I bet the other Street Fighter characters wish they could hit that. Hell, I bet any Capcom character wishes that. The music and sound effects are very well done. It seems like when the music was composed, there was a lot of effort put into it, and it's great 16-bit music, and some of the most classic music to come out of a Capcom game. The sound effects are nice as well, nothing I can complain about. The controls are pretty good as well. Moving around is easy, fighting, grappling, using your special move, and all that is very easy. The only thing I wish that you could do is run, especially when you are moving to the next part of the screen. But other than that, they are responsive, and I cannot complain at all. Thank you. 
Final Fight 2 is a very good beat em up and fun to play. I think the story behind the game is great, the gameplay is very well done, and I really enjoy playing it. Personally, I think it's a little bit better than the first game which is also a badass game. If you want to pick up Final Fight 2 to play for yourself, you could pick the game up in a few ways. The game was released on the Wii Virtual Console. Of course, like I've mentioned before, the servers are no longer running for the Wii. It has been mentioned that it did get a Wii U release, but I don't know if that's entirely true. If you want to pick up a physical copy of Final Fight 2, the game is 71% rare on rarityguide.com, and loose carts are going for about 25 bucks. Looking at eBay, I have seen them on there for as low as 22 to as high as 55. Those are a bit expensive for the game, but if you're wanting to pay those prices, then go right ahead. Well, that is it for this review of Final Fight 2. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.